guys, how are you doing? And welcome back to video three. Um, and in this video, I'm going to take you through what information you need to put now on this Facebook integration page and how to actually get it uploaded onto your fan page. So um, let's just take off from where I left off on the last video. Okay, so what we need here is the, um, it's just literally the name of your app. Yeah, um, so I'm going to call it Great Show one because I've already created this once it's got to be unique okay then I'm going to go over to my page and this is where it is this is my opt-in page so my um, test page so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that in there that's my URL okay and you must have a forward um, slash at the end of it or a question mark or some little icon there okay and then I'm going to re-enter it in here okay with that um, with the forward slash, but over here I'm making it HTTPS, and this is for um, secure connections. Again, I'm not going to go into those details right now. I just kind of want to tell you what you need to do and how to load it up. Here's your canvas type, which is your iframe. That's what you want to do. And here is one of the key things. You don't want to show the scroll bars because scroll bars are a bit nasty. Let me show you what scroll bars look like. Uh, this is one I did earlier. Um, and here's my one of my web pages which I hadn't sized correctly now because I hadn't sized it correctly therefore you've got these scroll bars down the side yeah now if you want to put a really big huge web page on there or if you want people to be able to scroll about then that's fine I mean the fact is is it's great now that you've got that functionality within Facebook to be able to do that yeah you can literally put as much information on here as you want and people can just move it around and have a look and the rest of it within the confines of the um, sizes within Facebook but what we want to try and do for a welcome page is create a page that really um, doesn't need to be scrolled it's just all there it's right in front of us okay um, so anyway so here we are so I'm going to click auto resize because I don't want to um, show my scroll bars okay um, and then down here I'm going to call the tab great show one okay it's an iframe I want to keep that as an iframe okay and then the tab URL is just going to be great show one and then the um, they just want a page to edit it so let's put that in there and put great show one forward slash edit okay so they are the changes now this is this edit URL here that's not absolutely necessary to make that happy um, to make this happen okay you don't need to put that in but you do need a tab name because that's going to be the title of the tab on your page so you do need to make sure um, that that is there okay um, and obviously Facebook are pulling the application here so they're going to be I'm going to show you that in a second when I save these changes then this application is going to be called apps.facebook.com forward slash great show one okay and that's where Facebook are essentially going to be getting the information to put on the page so it's very important that you've got a unique URL going on here okay and that you use that tab URL down here all right um, so they're the key elements of that page let me just there you go so you can see it a bit better they're the key elements of that page okay um, and then what we do is we go to save changes um, all right I've got it's because I've got um, caps in there okay so that's good uh, lowercase letters dashes and underscores it's not it's because I've got letters in there so we'll call it great show a there you go there we go it's good to know these things isn't it it's good to go through this and and see me doing it and getting it wrong so that you guys know next time to get it right okay great show a let's save the changes and see if that works um, great so that's worked okay so now all my details are here okay so if I click on here the canvas page and the canvas page is basically what Facebook are calling the page it's like your web page yeah but in Facebook language it's there it's their canvas page and if I click on that if I put that URL in my browser and click on that it's going to show me Facebook and then it's going to show me my page yeah it's going to show me my page there so what we want to do is go back to our developers here okay because now what we want to do is actually add that to our page 
So if we go to our application profile page, when I open that, it's going to look like your own fan page, doesn't it? There's so much more I've got to tell you about this. There really is, but not in this video. And we go over here to the left hand side and we can click add to my page. So we do that and then we go through and pick which page we want to add it to. Yeah. So uh, there's social media rocks. So let's add it to that page. And then let's close this and let's go back over to social media rocks and refresh. And then down here I should have Great Show A. And if I click on Great Show A, then that's where that's my page. Ba Boom. It's in there. OK. Now, how am I doing for time? Oh, gosh, we've gone over 10 minutes. So I'm going to wrap this up. All right. Um, I'm going to quickly do another video now just to show you um, this like button, which is very, very cool. I just wanted to quickly show you that. So if you'd like to just have a quick look at that um, and see um, how I've done this like button here, then do log on and have a look at um, video three. Um, but just to let you know, guys, um, when you try and do this the first time, you may find that you get the scroll bars because the sizing is wrong. OK, now up until um, this morning, I wasn't sure how you did that. And thankfully, our good friend Mark Mooney came along and made a video this morning on how to actually resize the page. Um, and uh, you need to do it with the Java script that I was showing you on your application. So I'm not actually going to go into those details right now because that really is about inserting JavaScript into your web page and um, putting some more Facebook code in there in order to get the size right okay that that does start to get a bit challenging um, so but for you but for the coders out there who really want to know what I'm talking about what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you where you can go and get it in video three when I talk about the like button as well other than that, please go and have a look at video one if you want a more automated um, way of doing this and uh, literally want a one-click install and not have to worry about all of this, then do please click the link below this video that says video one. Go and have a look because I do show you there my new templates just coming out and show you how you can get a copy of those. Okay, guys, thank you very much for listening. I hope you have enjoyed this and got a rough idea of how to get this off the ground. Um, any questions or comments whatsoever, just head over to the fan page, free fan page templates, facebook.com forward slash free fan page templates, and I would be glad to give you some help. Speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.